Peppa and her friends are going on a school bus trip. <laughs> Children, attention please. Let's check that you're all here. Peppa and George. Here. <laughs> Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Here. Susie Sheep. Here. <laughs> Zoe Zebra. Here. Danny Dog. Here. Emily Elephant. Here. <laughs> Pedro Pony. Pedro Pony is not here. Sorry we're late. Pedro, you almost missed the school trip. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Never mind, you're just in time. All aboard! Hey. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the bus driver. Full steam ahead. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Children, attention please. Today we are going on a trip to the mountains. Hooray! Have you all got your lunch boxes? Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. Madam Gazelle, please can we eat our lunch now? Peppa, we'll eat lunch when we arrive in the mountains. Peppa, what have you got in your lunch box? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Let's swap. Okay. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunch box. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus! You can make it! Come on, bus! Hooray! Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view! Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains, like this. Yodeling! 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 Hit him! Yodeling! Those are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me! <laughs> home time! All aboard! It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Uh oh, please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong, bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, woo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, bong, bing, bong, It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sandcastles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. 
It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Pepper's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow! Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone! Hello, Peppa! All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull? Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit! It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye! Have a lovely day at the beach. We're Seaside. The beach is covered in snow. Oh, oh, that sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful. Wonderful today. Okay then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. Okay, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George, and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and, hey presto, a snow castle! Snow castles! I love the seaside. And I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. It is very early in the morning. George, it's too early. Dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs>
I know it will be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Peppa. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go. Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh? Silly old. Dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur! A bouncy dinosaur! Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Peppa and George are playing in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. What's this? Peppa has found a box of old clothes. Wow! <laughs> this is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <laughs> Here's Daddy's hat. <laughs> And who is Daddy's coat? <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. This is Mummy's dress. <laughs> this is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> Some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Basın Pavra. Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Pepper, I was just saying hello. I'm not Pepper Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <laughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <laughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello. Yes. Do this. Do that. No. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Pepper is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig, but George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. Now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> Ice cream, everyone! Ice cream! Pepper, George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then here we are. Pepper, <laughs> George, there you are. Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Picnic. It is a lovely, bright, sunny day. Pepper and her family are going for a picnic. Daddy Pig is bringing the picnic basket. Picnic blanket, bread, cheese, tomatoes, and lemonade. Is there anything we've forgotten? Mummy's strawberry cake. <laughs> I was just teasing. Mummy's homemade strawberry cake is there too. Is everybody ready? Ready. Then let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the duck? <laughs> <laughs> 
eggs. Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We've no more bread. <coughs> the ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <coughs> <coughs> uh, what? <coughs> you lot again? <coughs> Peppa told you. There's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Oh, a wasp! I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <laughs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Hey, get away! Scram! Help! Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. Oh no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> 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 Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles. It is Dr. Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles. Thank goodness you found him. Oh, Naughty Tortoise. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no, I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. <laughs> Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too! Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down! No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. 
Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise is up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes! Let's chop the tree down! No! Okay, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! No! Uh, uh, oh, I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. Okay, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops, silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Pepper are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh. <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Pepper, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh! Yes. And the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there in the car? <laughs> no, Pepper. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> No, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Pepper and George have been in the car at night. Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star. Shining with a twinkly glow, please show us the way to go. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. 
What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> here she is, old Bess. Wow. Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow! What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> 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 Quick! Look! Oh! It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy Pepper and George are having their favourite food, spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise! Finished! Ah, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. <coughs> The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth, and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the Tooth Fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that tooth fairy? What is that noise? Is it the tooth fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the tooth fairy. I'm not going to sleep. 
The tooth fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. What? Oh, I wasn't asleep. Did the tooth fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Peppa. The tooth fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <coughs> Next time, I will stay awake and I will see the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pen pal. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Children, who would like a pen pal? Me! Me! What's a pen pal? A pen pal is a boy or girl you can write letters to. This little girl lives in France. Her name is Delphine Donkey. Can Delphine Donkey be my pen pal? Of course, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> it is early morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Post! Peppa and George <laughs> love it when the post arrives. It's addressed to Miss Peppa Pig. That's me! <laughs> Mummy, can you read it for me? Of course. It's from Delphine Donkey. My pen pal! <laughs> what does she say? Bonjour, Peppa. Comment ça va? Mummy, why are you saying those funny words? It's French, Peppa. It means, hello, how are you? What else does she say? Hmm. I'll help. Jame les princesses et jouer avec mes amis. <laughs> Clever Daddy! <laughs> I am an expert at French. What does it mean? Uh... Daddy Pig cleans his glasses so he can see the letter more clearly. Hmm. It's no good. It's nonsense. It means I like fairy princesses and playing with my friends. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk French. Maybe you could talk to Delphine Donkey. How? Her phone number is on this letter. Yippee! <laughs> Bonjour. Est-il possible que Peppa parle à Delphine? Mummy Pig is asking if Peppa may speak to Delphine. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, what do I say next? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. What did she say? She spoke French. <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, How are you? in French. Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Mr. Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. Aww. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. <coughs> I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. Here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello. Dinosaur. Dragon. Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, pardon, sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. 
Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa. <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, j'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Chatterbox. It is a lovely sunny day, and Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. Guess what happened to me yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs. Duck. Well, yesterday, then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots, and what's wrong? You talk too much. You go blah 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 blah, just like that. Blah blah blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox, that's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes. Why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> This is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> Right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Why? Because she talks too much. I do not talk too much. Anyway, you're always walking like this. Oh, look at me. I'm Susie Sheep. See what I mean? And you say this. Mickey Macky Boo Ba Boo. That's nothing like me. It is a bit like you, Susie. You're just as noisy as me. I can be quiet. It's not easy. It's not that hard, Peppa. Okay, you do it then. Let's all do it. We can show my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, we're all going to be quiet. Very quiet. So quiet, you can drop something on the floor and hear it. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not being quiet at all. You're all being very noisy. We can be quiet whenever we want. Start being quiet on the count of three. One, two. I'm not ready. Okay, now. <laughs> Get on your mark. Ready. Get set. Three. <laughs> Hello, I'm home. Oh, I thought the house was empty. Peppa and her friends are playing at being quiet. It's not playing. It's very hard work. Oh, Peppa! Peppa cannot stop herself from talking. Oh, Daddy, I think I might be a chatterbox. That's not such a bad thing, Peppa. It's good to talk. In fact. I think you're an expert at talking. That's right. I am an expert at 
talking. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking too. No, you're not. I'm the chatterbox. I'm more of a chatterbox than you. <laughs> you two are just the same. Yes, we are. That's why we are best friends. Chatter, chatter, Peppa chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, chatter, Susie chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter, 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 chatter. Everybody chatter, loves chatter, talking. Chatter. chatter, chatter, chatter. chatter. <laughs> Peppa and George are going to the playgroup. It is George's first day. George, are you looking forward to the playgroup? <laughs> Daddy, maybe George is too small to go to my playgroup. He'll be fine, Peppa. There'll be you and Mr. Dinosaur there to keep him company. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> but I want to play with the big children. Not George and his toy dinosaur. Oh dear, Peppa doesn't want George to go to her playgroup. We're here. Daddy, are you sure George is big enough? He'll be fine. <laughs> All right, he can come. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Madame Gazelle looks after the children at the playgroup. Hello. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. Hello. <laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. Is that a dinosaur? It's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah! <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk of the leaves. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. And George has painted a dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think George and Peppa's pictures should go on the wall. <laughs> Peppa, you must be very proud of your little brother. Yes, I am. It is home time, and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Can George come next time? Yes, and he can paint us another lovely picture. And what will you paint next time, George? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh, another dinosaur picture? Well, maybe you can show us all how to paint the dinosaur. Brilliant. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Pottery! 
Peppa and George are playing at Zoe Zebra's house. Little Zuzu and Zaza are making a jungle with play clay. George has made a dinosaur out of play clay. Peppa and Zoe are having a doll's picnic. Hello, Mr. Monkey. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says yes. What's the magic word, Mr. Monkey? Oh, oh, oh. That means please. Oh, we haven't got a tea set. We could make a tea set out of play clay. Yes. George, can we use a play clay, please? No. Grrr. Zuzu, Zaza, we need to make a tea set for our tea party. No. You can help us make it. <laughs> I'll make the teapot and we'll make the cups. <laughs> there, now Monkey can have tea. Oh, this teapot is too soft. Real tea sets aren't soft. <laughs> My mummy makes real pots. She does pottery. Ooh. Mummy, can you help us make a tea set, please? With teacups and a teapot that we can put real water in. OK, come with me. This is where Mrs Zebra makes her pottery. Let's make this tea set. What's that? Clay. All pottery starts off like that. But it's soft like play clay. We need it to be soft so we can shape it. But later, it won't be soft. Ooh! Mummy Zebra is making a little cup on the potter's wheel. There! One cup! Wow! <sniffs> that looks easy! Would you like to try? Yes, please! <laughs> it's all slimy! <laughs> ah! It's all gone wrong! Making a cup on a potter's wheel is not easy. There is an easier way to make a cup. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> We wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> I saw. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know, George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes, let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> Pirate Island. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and her friends for a day out on his boat. Everyone on board? Full sail! See you later! See you later! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are all wearing life jackets. George, you could wear my pirate hat. 
Today we are sailing to Pirate Island. Ooh. If we're lucky, we might find buried treasure. Wow! Pirate Island sounds like a great place. Land ahoy! <laughs> Here we are. Pirate Island. What's that? It's a metal detector. It finds buried treasure. Ooh. Grandpa Pig is using the metal detector to find buried treasure. Aha! The metal detector has found something. Let's dig it up. It's a little coin. Treasure! Let's find some more. Ah, we found something else. It sounds big. <laughs> My goodness, this piece of treasure is quite heavy. Oh dear, that is not buried treasure. That is a rusty old shopping trolley. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's enough treasure hunting. Who wants to help build a big sandcastle? What a good idea, Granny Pig. Now I'll just check on the boat. Granny Pig is going to help the children build a big sandcastle. And Grandpa Pig is doing important boat things. Ah, this is nice. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for a little bit. <laughs> Granny and the children are making a big sandcastle. They need lots and lots of sand. They use buckets to make the castle's turrets. <laughs> what a splendid castle. Hooray! <laughs> Time to go home. Oh, where's the boat gone? Look, Granny. Oh, no. Grandpa Pig is fast asleep, and the boat is drifting away. We have to wake Grandpa up. Shout as loudly as you can. Grandpa Pig! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, no! Grandpa Pig is still asleep. Grandpa's too far away to hear us. We're stuck on Pirate Island. We're castaways. <laughs> we'll be here for a hundred years. We'll have to eat wild fruit and berries. <laughs> and we'll have to eat insects and slugs. <laughs> <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Oh, where am I? Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Have you had a nice time? Yes. Uh, uh actually, I, I just left something behind. Back in a tick. Look! There's Grandpa. We're safe! Hooray! Welcome aboard, me hearties. Naughty Grandpa Pig. We thought you'd left us behind. Sorry about that, Granny Pig. Next time, I promise not to fall asleep. <laughs> Bye, Pirate Island. See you again soon. I love Pirate Island. Can we visit it again? Oh, of course we can, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig's boat. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are taking Peppa and George out for a day on the river. Welcome aboard, me hearties. Peppa? George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. Maybe you should go and 
little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Peppa. We'll go fast later. Look! There's another boat! Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. <coughs> Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. All right, you old sea dog. Race you. Prepare to lose, water hog. You two are acting like little children. <laughs> Granddad Dog called me a water hog. You called him a sea dog first, Grandpa. You should say sorry. Only if he says sorry first. Granddad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. He's your best friend. No, he's a water hog, and my boat is faster than his. All right, sea dog. Let's race to the next bridge. On the count of three. One. Two. Go! You started too soon. Catch me if you can, water hog. Sea dog. Is that as fast as you can go? Can't catch me. <laughs> I win. Oh dear! Grandpa Pig's boat has run out of petrol. Very clever, Captain Grandpa. Maybe I did go a bit too fast. How will we get home? Look, there's Grandad Dog. <gasps> Grandad Dog can tow us home. I'm not being towed by that sea dog. I haven't offered to tow the water hog. <sighs> will you two ever grow up? Grandpa, say sorry to Grandad Dog. I'm... Sorry I called you a sea dog. Grandad, say sorry to Grandpa Pig. I'm sorry I called you a water hog. That's nice. Grandad Dog, would you be so kind as to tow us home? It would be my pleasure, madame. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> Grandad Dog is towing Grandpa Pig's boat home. The main thing is, I won the race. Grandpa Pig! Naughty Grandpa Pig! <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell! Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa! 